Plan Orlando's Bicycle and Pedestrian Count Program. This training video is meant as a refresher for individuals who have volunteered in previous years. Our Bike Pet Count Program launched in 2013 thanks to a grant from the Florida Department of Transportation. We have adopted the methodology of the National Bicycle and Pedestrian Documentation Project. Many other cities across the U.S. use NBPD's methodology, and this is the first bike pet count effort here in Central Florida. So far, it has been a great success. A lot of people ask us, why should we count pedestrians and bicycles? There are many reasons, but just like we know how many cars use I-4, we count to better understand our bicycle and pedestrian needs. Through counting, we can get a better picture of what influences bicycling and walking and learn about what infrastructure improvements we need out there. Over time, we would like to see an increase in bicycle and pedestrian trips, which could then lead to additional funding for future bike ped projects. So let's go over some of the logistics. If you can, scout your location either by visiting the site the day before or arriving a few minutes early. Check weather conditions to see if you need to bring a hat, sweater, or umbrella. Pick a location in which you are visible to others, but obviously do not interfere with traffic flow. Most locations will have one counter, while some others might have two. If you have a partner, talk about how you will split the counts. The easiest way is for one person to count the bicycles, and then the other person counts the pedestrians and others. Your safety is extremely important to us. Always be visible. If you can, wear your volunteer shirt. They are flashy for a reason. Please do not hesitate to leave if at any point you feel unsafe. And contact us if you have any issues or concerns. On the day of the count, please bring your instructions form, count form, something to write with, a timekeeping device, such as your phone or a watch, and weather appropriate clothing. Be sure to bring extra items that will make your two hour count experience a little bit more pleasant, such as water, sunscreen, hats, and sunglasses. Now let's learn about the process. For both bikes and pets, you will count in 15 minute intervals. For pedestrians, you will count each person you see crossing at the intersection. Count by the person. Individuals in wheelchairs and kids on strollers count as pedestrians. Individuals who are riding their bikes on the sidewalk but then get off the bike and decide to walk their bikes across the intersection are also counted as a, as a pedestrian. Once you spot them, mark them according to their gender, male or female. Things get a little bit more complicated when counting people who bike. Also count in 50 minute intervals, but count them the moment that you spot them. Tell us whether they are male or female, are they on the road or sidewalk, and are they riding with or against traffic. Again, count by the person, not by the bike. Now you might see some unique things out there. Individuals on skateboards, rollerblades, segways, or any other unique device are counted as other. You do not need to tell us whether they're male or female. Now let's, let's, here, let, let's do an example of how you set up and how to count. As I mentioned, set up somewhere in a corner where it's visible, where all four intersections are visible, and count anyone who walks across any of the crosswalks. If you see someone doing a mid-block crossing, do not count them. However, let us know if you see a pattern so we can uh, notify the local jurisdictions. On the count sheet, Fill out the top portion of, of the sheet with your name, phone number, location, date, and weather conditions, and mark each activity you see. So for example, if on your first 15 minutes you see a female bicyclist riding on the road with traffic, then you mark that spot. Then if you see a female cyclist riding on the road against traffic, you mark the, uh, that particular box as well and then you see a female pedestrian, and so on. At the end of your two hours, just tally up the numbers at the bottom of the sheet. So let's get some practice. How would you count this? 
that is five bicyclists, three male, one female, and then you also have a baby in the back. So I'm counting that baby as a female. And then they're riding on the sidewalk with traffic. How about this one? That's two bicyclists, one male, one female, riding on the road with traffic. And how about this one? That is four pedestrians, two males, two females. And then we also have a bicyclist in the back, male, riding on the road with traffic. Once you are done with your two hour count, please return your count sheet to us as soon as possible. Either use the prepaid envelope we have provided or you can scan it and email it to us or fax it. Now, if you're in social media, please take pictures and tag and use the hashtag bike pet counts and tag Metro Plan Orlando's Twitter account so we can see all the goody stuff that you see out there. Thank you so much for volunteering and we hope you have a fabulous time out there.